The Maria School District faces some similar challenges with its high schools meeting state standardized test expectations. Last year, Freedom's principal, Mike Laporta, his staff and teachers initiated two programs that seem to be turning things around. Tempo in Depth's Grover Silcox has details. At Freedom High School, ninth grade serves as the gateway to achievement. We've heard over and over again that students in their ninth grade year really make the determination whether or not they're going to graduate high school. Last year, Freedom's principal, Mike Laporta, and his staff initiated Teaming, a program that fosters academic success by teaming teachers and ninth graders. We've made it very purposeful that these team of teachers have the same team of students, and we gave them common planning time so that they can be meeting on a very regular basis about student needs. Laporta and his staff formed academic teams, each composed of four teachers in the core subjects, English, math, social studies, and science. Some teams even have a special ed teacher. Each team serves about 120 students. We meet all together, and we're always talking about students and just sharing information. So if a student has a problem, teachers can intervene and help solve it quickly. When you're talking to three or four other teachers who are ha have the same student, you get to see that whatever issues you have are common across the board, and you can work to come up with common solutions. That wouldn't necessarily happen if it was, if I was teaching just a single class, because I wouldn't know how they're doing in science and, and math and history. So teaming means teachers share information. It also means creating common projects or even combining classes. The social studies teacher and I, we will plan together and just make sure that our lessons, if I'm teaching a novel, how can he add the historical perspective into the novel and just see where we can fit in together. And that's what we've tried to do as we've grown this program is keep bringing the emphasis back to the kids. Answer the three questions and then we're going to talk about them. In history, we are learning about manifest destination and in English, today we had a vocabulary quiz get to interact with another class and you get different perspectives and ideas on the topic you're talking about. So I think you learn a lot more through teaming. Teaming's also about timing. In traditional scheduling, core classes are scattered throughout the school day. In teaming, they're held during specific time blocks and teachers can parcel the time to fit their students' needs. So if students require extra time on English, teachers can give it to them. What's more, students continue in the same core classes throughout the year. On the traditional schedule, you would have a group of students for a semester, and then you don't ever see them again. And, you know, you might see them in the hall, and that's it. Here we've extended that over the course of the year. It's all about relationships. Once you establish relationships with students and teachers, then, then you can really foster the learning that needs to take place. Josh Young, an honors student who went through teaming last year as a freshman, liked the way the program helped him connect with teachers. They really got to know who you were as a person. You're new and people don't know you as well, so they got to uh, help you feel comfortable. Teaming with its flexibility within dedicated time blocks also led to another program called Fast Track. This program enables ninth graders interested in a skilled career path to sample a variety of subjects at the Bethlehem area of Tech, right next door to Freedom. This sampling process was previously reserved for sophomores. The Fast Track students had an opportunity in year one to go through 18 different classrooms and really make a decision as to what career or uh, cluster area that they would like to uh, enter in their 10th grade year. Let's jump on to uh, paramedics. Last year, Fast Track proved right on track for putting students on a career path. But out of the 27 that finished our program, 21 returned to BABTS. Now in their second year, teaming and Fast Track show early indications of success in engaging students. In the past, if a student failed some classes, you know, we didn't find out until the final grade came on the report card. Um, here, we continually know right away, up oh, the student's in danger. We need to have the conference, get the guidance intervention, have the parent or guardian involvement, um, <clears throat> work with the student, give them opportunities. So we have a whole lot more safeguards now in place than we ever had before. Ultimately, uh, we want to increase our graduation rates um, as well as, you know, best preparing students for uh, life beyond high school, getting them college or career ready. There are many exit ramps off the road to success. Hopefully with programs like Fast Track and Teaming, students will stay on course and reach their potential.
guided and cheered on by teachers and teammates alike. For Tempo In-Depth, I'm Grover Silcox reporting.